Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, back out here at the Pathfinder Outfitters Kitchen. What I thought we'd do today is make some homemade donuts. And so we're going to do this using yeast. And yeast can be a little intimidating for some people, but it's really not that difficult once you get used to using it. In fact, I'm so used to using it now that I've been uncomfortable for a long time to try to make my own mead, but I have an excess of honey now, and I'm getting used to working with yeast more and more, so I think I understand how it works. And I bought a mead brewing kit off Amazon. We're going to kind of take that thing out of the box together, make our first batch of mead together. I'm sure there's lots of people out here who have made mead in the past that will give us suggestions and feedback along the way. But for today, let's make some donuts. Stay with me. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate our yeast. So we're going to take one packet of yeast and put that in a small bowl. We're going to take a half of a tablespoon of sugar and one, two tablespoons of water. And we're going to mix that together in a bowl. Now we're using a fast acting yeast here. So we don't have to let this sit and start to proof or activate. We can go ahead and just set this aside, mix our other ingredients and add it to it. We only need to let it rise the one time with the actual dough. We don't necessarily have to wait for the yeast to rise itself or proof. We'll set that aside and we'll get our dough ready. Okay, so now it's time to make our dough. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get three egg yolks. And we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar to that. and a half a teaspoon of salt. And our yeast mixture. And we're gonna add that to three and a half cups of flour. And then we need some room temperature butter here. That's pretty room temperature, that stuff melting in my hands about 80 degrees out here so we'll put that in and we're going to do a couple different things well first we're going to use a pastry cutter and then we're going to stir this thing up i don't have any kind of a machine to do this so the easiest way to do this for me is just to kind of start cutting this in together first with a pastry cutter get everything kind of mixed up get that butter cut in really, really good. And then I generally find that a fork is the way to go after that. Once I get that thing looking pretty crumbly and I'm pretty convinced that everything's cut into it, now I'll go after it with a fork. Now, the last ingredient I need to put in here is a cup of warm milk. And I usually add that in a little at a time. I've got this milk a little warmer than I want it right now. But I don't want to cut it with any water, to tell you the truth. So I'm just going to kind of pour it in there a little at a time and mix it in. To kind of temper it as it goes in. Now you can see that this is starting to turn into a big bowl of dough. I'm just kind of scraping everything off the sides and getting everything to the center here. Making sure I've got everything mixed well. And I'm gonna leave that ball in the center basically. And we're going to let that rise to at least a couple times its volume here. So we're going to let it sit in here. We're going to cover it with a towel. The warmer it is, the faster this stuff will rise. It's pretty warm outside. Let's set it aside and wait an hour. 
All right, we're gonna let Zahn have the chair here. We're gonna do some work here in the middle of the table. So I'll pull this camera back so you can see what's going on. Getting ready to start making some donuts to fry up. All right, so you can see our dough has gotten really big here. So now we're gonna take that dough out of here. Put it on a flour board here. And we're gonna flour this up a little bit. Get our hands getting floured up. And we're gonna start rolling this out. And we're looking for about a half an inch of thickness, so we don't want to roll it out too far before we start cutting donuts. And we're going to use a pastry cutter here. Pull them dudes out with. And we're just going to set them aside over here on a floured surface. Knead it together just a little bit. Roll it back out. Get our half inch again. Or thereabouts. Definitely important to keep this, keep this stuff floured up. Keep your hands good and floured up at the same time. So nothing sticks. Get our half inch here and go after them again. All right, we want about an inch and a half boil. And whatever we decide we're going to fry these donuts in, I'm just gonna use the same Dutch oven that I was using yesterday to cook the chicken in. Get it seasoned back up. Nothing seasons cast iron better than frying in it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We'll get this thing up to 350. We'll put a thermometer in there. Then we'll be ready to fry some donuts. Okay, while we're waiting on our oil to get hot, we're gonna make ourselves a drink to go with our donuts. We're gonna make a chocolate, like a hot chocolate. We're gonna use Mexican stone ground cocoa for this. So this is a pure brick of Mexican chocolate. And we're going to just take part of one of these bricks and grind it down on a grinder to make a powder. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take that, we've got a little bit of a brown sugar and cane sugar mix here that we made for donuts. We're gonna dredge those donuts in. We'll mix all that together and that's going to make our cup of hot chocolate. Okay, about time to start cooking some donuts here. And they need about one minute per side on these dudes is enough. We'll put five of them in there at a time. We got plenty of room in there to do that. And we'll give them about one minute per side, flip them over. Okay, we flip these dudes over one time. We'll give them another minute. Okay, really don't have a cooling rack per se. So we're just gonna put these things in a basket to drain for the moment. And then we'll get another round in. Okay, so while these things are still good and hot, we dredge them in this brown sugar cinnamon and set them off to the side to cool. All right, guys, so here we are. We got our cup of chocolate and we got our donuts here. 
Um, I'm not going to build you a dozen of these donuts, but i got grandkids that will sure eat them. So I'm curious what they're like. Wow. <laughs> Man. That's a really good donut. Yeah. I didn't even look at this. Um, yeah, that's really good. I'll give you a close-up of that. If we can see that. God, I gotta tell you, these things are flat. It's awesome. I mean, awesome. Man. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Mmm. <laughs> guys listen i appreciate you joining me out here today for this video on how to make homemade donuts i appreciate your views and i appreciate your support i thank you for everything you do for our school for our family for our business for all of our sponsors instructors affiliates and friends and i'll be back with another video in this series as soon as i can guys thanks man <laughs> i know on i'm working on it here here bob Hang on. Yeah, man. <laughs>